needs to do something incredible here on the inside. and welcome to a new episode of Surfing Australia TV here on the beautiful Jaramba Beach. We've got a big show ahead. Here's a taste of what's to come. There's historic news for the sport of surfing. You'll meet Australia's toughest surfers. We have the latest in board design technology and we'll feature Australia's best juniors plus plenty, plenty more. First up and this month was a big one, the sport of surfing, which won Olympic inclusion and will be a part of the Tokyo 2020 Games. It goes without saying, we're pretty excited about the news. From Surfing Australia's point of view, this is what we've been working towards. All of our developmental pathway programs are now going to come into fruition at the Olympic Games. Big rolling, Fanny grabs rail, nice section, and feeling off pipe stuff. He comes wow. out. I think it's great that the Olympics have recognised surfing. It's such a a global sport these days. I guess for the, the people that are going to be competing in it, it's going to be uh, very prestigious. It would be a really cool experience, I guess, to, you know, surf for your country at an Olympics. And I think Australia would definitely be uh, a walk-up start to be the favourites for the Olympics. When I look at the depth of talent coming through Australia right now, I feel that the women's team is going to be a lot stronger than the men's team. Uh, so we have the advantage in that respect. I see Macy Callahan. I still see Tyler Wright and Sally Fitzgibbons being in the mix. I see Steph playing some sort of role. Ultimately, the depth of talent gives me a lot of confidence in our success in Tokyo come 2020. It'd be kind of dreamy if we got into the Olympics and, you know, we would have a solid team. There's some really amazing new talent coming through. Someone like Ethan Ewing, who might be in his prime and the start of his career. We'll give a newfound respect and appreciation for what we go through, pitting ourselves against the elements. Whether it's in a wave pool or whether it's in the ocean is irrelevant. The athleticism, the mindset, the ability to perform under pressure is what makes surfing so unique and such a wonderful sport to be involved in. And I really think the worldwide audience will sincerely appreciate what we do on a wave and how we can turn a wave into our own beautiful canvas. You'll have to go a long way to find more inspirational surfers than the guys you're about to meet. They're participating in the inaugural Nudie Australian Adaptive Surfing titles and they sure are impressive. I'm Red Dog Wheatley here at the Nudie Australian Adaptive Titles. So stoked to be part of the first. All the guys are pumped. Let's get into it. It's amazing. The first year, and uh, it's so cool to see Nudie behind the Adaptive uh, Australian Titles and just hearing some of their stories of what they've been through and in life in general, and now they're surfing, and it's just amazing. There's thousands of uh, disabled people. Um, within our country and we've sort of this is a, the next stepping stone for them to achieve their goals and, and get them back into the water. You know, it's, uh, the future's huge for, for Australian adaptive surfing. You watch Mono out there man, he, um, he absolutely shreds so I'm stoked he's in another division otherwise none of us would have a chance. <laughs> you got guys like Dave Monk, he spent 40 or 50 hours in the water man, he's a, he's a paraplegic and he shreds. I don't think he'd gone left until yesterday. All he's getting is lefts now, you know, and he's 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 carving the face, so that's sick. So I'm sort of figuring, you know, get me another 100 hours in the water and I'll have it sorted. This is my first competition heat in the water. Um, I did three Paralympics as a skier um, in the past, so I've got a little bit of experience with competition, but um, I've really only just got back into the surfing maybe in the last three or four months. After Mono won the world title last year, I've always been into competitive sports, so I figured it was time to get back in and give it a slap. 
And that word adaptive, I guess, summarises it perfectly. Like, that each individually have altered their equipment, altered the way they move, like, altered just purely to suit themselves. Like, each one of them is completely an individual. Everybody's capable. You just find a way, there's always a solution, and these guys just encompass that. Yeah, um, after having an accident eight years ago, I um, used to do a little bit of surfing and from that I've adapted to riding a, a SUP board and yeah, just uh, proven to anyone that's got a disability that you know you can do anything in any way and get out there in the water and just have fun. That's what we want to do. We want to get more people to, to join up and, and have a crack and know that you'll be safe out there if you, if you come with um, a crew of us, we'll look after you, so yeah. Man, it's awesome. I uh, never in my wildest dreams when I woke up this morning did I imagine that um, I'd be in the final, let alone win it. It's been, it's been a great event. I'm really happy. Adaptive surfing, head to surfingaustralia.com. Well, there's plenty more coming up, but as we head to the break, check out this great footage from the team at MySurf TV. Australia and Soldier On are proud to announce an official partnership that will see Australian veterans benefit from a unique surfing and rehabilitation experience. It's called the Soldier On Surf Therapy Program. Let's check it out. One amazing program that we're really proud to announce today, along with announcing the Nudie Partnership, is a, a formalised partnership with Soldier On. And this one, you know, really close to our hearts, and it's, it's a program that enables us to work with you know, the war veterans of this country and, and really make a difference to their lives. Tony, soldier on surf therapy. What a beauty, mate. You've done so much for us, it's about time we got in and did a fair bit for you. The surf therapy program is something that's actually been running in the US and, and the UK over the last few years with our counterparts over there and it's something that we've been very keen to get up and going here as well. The opportunity has come up now that we're going to be able to get this program up and off the ground and, and happening um, almost immediately because of the, the sponsorship that we've got through Nudie. I think it's a great initiative. You know, there's a lot of guys who are ex-military uh, who are surfers, so it's nice that those two communities can be brought brought together and that passion. I've struggled with a lot of depression um, through my PTSD. Definitely surfing's been that thing I can look forward to and go out and if I'm having a bad time I can go out and have a wave and, and just sit there and just be in the moment. So the way that the program's going to work is that four times during the course of the year we'll be able to utilise the High Performance Centre for, um, for eight veterans um, on each occasion. And, um, and on four additional um, occasions, we'll be able to run eight week long surf programs around the country, which is just brilliant. You can find out more about this fantastic partnership at surfingaustralia.com. Now sit back and enjoy the highlights as some of the country's best juniors take to the water in the Subway Surf Series. Since Subway, I guess, come on board and have started supporting junior surfing, I guess now you get to see, you know, the fruits of them really start to go on to bigger and better things. And I guess it's a real pat on the back and everyone should be proud of it, the support that they've done to get these kids to, you know, the next level.
having a junior series, it's the perfect stepping stone for all the Aussies to, um, you know, qualify for the World Junior and possibly get a, a main round seat into the qualifying series. It's been missing the last couple of years and to have Subway back on board and have, have a series again is huge for the future of Australian surfing. Yeah, I feel really privileged to be here and yeah, it's awesome that Subway's been able to contribute to this and help us juniors out. It's the best junior development program probably in the world, definitely in Australia. Welcome back. Well, up next, we have the latest in our Behind the Curtain series, a shaper, Darren Handley, breaks down the epoxy core surfboard design. Over the years, I've accumulated so many different blanks and that people give you just to try out their new and greatest thing. And one day I just decided that I'll get that stuff and start using it. I really like you know, what a PU foam does and what styrofoam does. So I grabbed two of those blanks together and I thought, all right, I'll just cut them up and put them together and see what happens. And this is what I came up with, was this one here, which, you know, that's the PU side, which is a little bit heavier up front, and the polystyrene, which is a little lighter and the flexier down the bottom. And I put that together for Mick and said, you know, what are you going to try this? And he looked at me and said, you've given me Frankenstein. Learn from our mistakes and learn that Mick really wanted to keep you know going forward on this and then that's when we came up with the next option. Instead of actually having half and half, we just put the core inside it, and that's where we've come up with the name epoxy core because it's the core of the blank that gives it that life and everything like that. This was the round one. So this is where we did the round cut really hard for us to, to get this cut smooth and, and great. The difficult thing in the whole process is just making the blank. That's all it really is. Getting the right density of this foam to match that foam was probably some of the more secret things that we um, probably wouldn't tell too many people about. For the average surfer out there, he's really going to love that little bit of extra paddle in the same board that he rides, but he's also going to have all this flex in his life. In the long run, this is going to be the board that you can ride in all conditions. Some of Australia's most talented young groms recently spent time at the Hurley Surfing Australia High Performance Centre and as you'll see, the future is looking bright.
just about all for this episode, but if you've ever wondered what it's like to chase waves for six months, then you'll enjoy this perfect compilation from the team at MySurf TV. We can see more amazing footage just like that and plenty more at mysurf.tv. Well, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you need any more information on anything that you've seen today, check out surfingaustralia.com or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Sam Squires. Thanks for your company. We'll see you next time. Needs to do something incredible here on the inside. 